everybody. Welcome. I'm Ryan Shroud, joined by my good buddy. I am Tom Peterson. And we are back. We're excited to be here. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it's a new year. It's a new year. Uh, and We're here to talk about graphics. And the engineers have been hard at work. That's true. It's like our late Christmas present is to come talk about all of the work that the engineers have done. You know, while you and I were skiing, they were back <laughs> just cranking, cranking, cranking. And I got to tell you, they have done some good work. Well, let's talk about what we're here to talk about today. Okay. So it's been roughly three months or so three since months. Arc has been out in yes. the world, these high-end desktop products. Absolutely. And during that time, you know, we've been working to improve everything. You know, when you're when you're in the GPU business, it's not just one driver and you're done. It's yeah. you're going to keep improving that hardware. And when we launched Arc, we said this device that you're buying has untapped headroom, and we've been working to bring that out. And I want to share some of the results so far. Absolutely. So. Okay. Well, here we go. Starting off, DX9. DX9 performance has been completely re-architected in our driver, and we're delivering 43% faster performance. It's not a small number. No. And I, I want to make sure, like, 43%. Compared to other driver drivers releases are a couple from us or anybody here, else, like you know, you get there. five, five, six percent is like no. a good performance. No, this improvement. is like imagine that you bought a you know one GPU and now you get two GPU generations faster. That's right? pretty good. And it's crazy. It's impressive. It's yeah. impressive. And it's it's all because the the engineers and the architects have been starting from scratch basically, yep. and they've completely rearchitected the thing. And also today at Etail and Retail, we're bringing the price down to two hundred and forty nine dollars for the A seven fifty limited edition card Absolutely. starting. Today. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So the combination of higher performance, lower price is just an incredible value. I think you guys are going to see some interesting data. Yeah. So let's dive right into it. Okay. Starting off, DX9. Tell me why it's important. DX9 is still critical, right? And we talked about this a little bit in December, mm -hmm. right? Where uh, the, the importance and value of this segment of gaming oh, yeah. to, to the PC, it's right? Counter-Strike is just, CSGO is one of these examples where you've got a, a million plus people playing it every day, mm. hundreds of millions of dollars of prize money being awarded. It's really phenomenal. And uh, you, you've got to get this right. You have to be in the right spot here. And this, I mean, here we're looking at from a 195 FPS in a, in a, a fast moving esports title uh -huh. up to 347. Wow. So that's basically the difference between living and dying. It's 80% it's it's, it's live more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. But CSGO is hugely important, one title. but it's just one title, exactly. right? Let's look at the rest here. We've got a full list of big improvements that we made in DX9 and it's for all over the map, right? Huge amounts of titles. It is. I mean, we got you know twelve or thirteen different games here that are just kind of representative of the changes. Uh, everything from uh, CS:GO to Payday 2 to maybe Lost Ark. Lost Ark. As a matter of fact, instead of just looking at a chart, let's take a look at a live demo. Okay, uh, Ryan, what do we got going on here? So we are playing Lost Ark. Okay. Ark with a K. Okay. Uh, I like uh, it. Great, great title. Uh, DX9. DX9. Still incredibly popular. Hundreds of thousands of Hundreds people. Hundreds of thousands of people. And playing it's just one, this one, one example of why DX9 is so important. Exactly. Right. This is this is why why it was important and critical that we uh, improve our performance and capabilities in this, okay. in this space. Okay. And and now we've jumped right into it. And what you can see is I'm at 230 frames per second. You're at 130. Yes. I exactly. mean that's, that's almost double frame rate. It's like more than 50. So and it's like depending on the scene, I'm gonna hit some. I'm gonna use my what, superpowers. And what I'm showing here is so we're running at 1080p. Uh, we're both on the A750 limited edition. In this case, I'm running on the driver we had at launch. So this would be the experience you have with this game at launch. Okay. And you're on a system that is same exact hardware. Same Raptor. The driver that's coming A750. out today. I'm really excited. I mean, it does show that with a driver update alone, we're almost uh, improving the experience by you know more than 50 percent. In some cases, almost double. And it's just through software. We're unleashing the potential of the Arc GPU. Exactly. Lost Ark, right? Pretty cool. Pretty fun game. I like the little clicking. You noticed I did a lot of the carrying of the team. No, no, this I was did. team effort. So even when we're on a co-op <laughs> game, you're competitive with me. Uh, but great performance improvement that we saw there. Put it in context. All right, so let's normalize this. When you normalize, you get a better sense of the percentage improvement. What do we got here, Ryan? So you've got everything from you know 10% on the low end up to 77% better performance improvements, wow. right? And that's in uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, that's in CSGO. Wow. Uh, the number, Legends, number we saw in Lost Ark was more than 50%. That's great. What's really important about DX9 is there's this long tail of titles, right? Yeah. And our new architecture for the driver is going to lift up many of those titles, yep. right? Yep. Okay. It's not just about performance, though. It's also about what I call smoothness. Now, this is showing you CSGO on our launch driver. And that going up and down there, that kind of like jittery line, that's a, not a great experience. I mean, some Sometimes things are jittering in your scene and it's not a great experience. Yeah, so Nobody likes it. The second line is our new driver. 
and that being nice and flat and tight, that tells you that the performance is consistent. We're delivering consistent frames smoothly. That's and it, that's the combination that you want to have yeah. for a good gaming yeah. experience. Now, the way you can measure this, in, in, instead of just showing charts, is to, through something called a 99th percentile. Mm -hmm. Now, the 99th percentile is reporting just that 1% of slowest frames, so having a high number for a 99th percentile uh -huh. kind of means you're getting more consistent frame rates. So in this case, we're showing you, again, normalized from our launch driver to now. What do we got here. In general, things actually look even better in that 99th percentile, right? So we're seeing uh, more than double the smoothness mm -hmm. in, in a couple of titles, and you're getting, you know, 50, 60, 70 percent improvements That's in great. a lot of games. It's great. I, I can say for a fact that DX9 is ready for prime time, and I hope all the reviewers who are getting sample cards <laughs> give it give it a give it a drive, right? <laughs> okay, but it's not 19 by 10 alone. Obviously, uh, 25 by 14, yeah. huge improvements here as well. What's what's our all the way up to 87 percent? 87 percent again in 1440p. You get maybe even a little bit more relative. You're improvement. a little less uh, CPU limited, yeah. and you get a little bit more of the GPU exposed. Exactly. Um, again, it's not just an average frame rate. If we look at percentiles, we can again see huge improvements at 25 by 14. More than double in a title, and again like 90 percent better smoothness in uh, in two different. It's crazy. Well. It's like, these are, these are massive Insane. games. Okay, massive. so let's summarize it. We have done some big work just since launch. Now remember, that's just three months. We've yeah. improved our average performance on DX9 by 43%, and our smoothness is improved by 60%. It's a combination that, that means if you already bought an ARC card, you're gonna get a great experience. <laughs> you're gonna get. And if you haven't bought an ARC card, you, know, you can go in confident that the experience you're gonna get is good. Absolutely, now's your time. All right. But we've already said the Arc GPU is not just built for DX9. It's a modern GPU. We have hardware ray tracing, lots of hardware dedicated to doing beautiful hardware ray tracing in DX12 titles. We have XCSS, which is built on our XMX basic infrastructure mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. AI inferencing. And we've been working hard on both of these technologies. So for us, DX11, DX12, modern gaming is going to be a labor of love forever. Right, we're, we're going to be working on this thing, making it better. So let's update you on the progress we've made so far. Yeah. So just since launch, we have had eight driver releases. Now that's eight driver releases that are doing what exactly? A driver is the way that we take all the ideas we have about making performance better or making compatibility better, and we, we deliver it to a customer through a driver update. So we've done tons of bug fixes, we've done tons of stability improvements, and mostly we've had huge performance upgrades. Excellent. Right now we also support new games and new titles when they become Critical. available. We call it a game on driver, and we've had 21 new titles supported at the day they launch. That's important, right? If you're a gamer, you, you know, you've invested in your gaming PC, a new game comes out, you're excited about it, you want to make sure that you want to know that the, you're having the best experience you can have on your platform. Absolutely. On that day. Also, XCSS, our technology for AI sampled, AI super sampled images, that's adoption is ramping quickly. We've gone more than double the titles since launch. We're now up to over 35 titles. Yep, impressive. Yeah, and lastly, we are continuously improving our DX11 and DX12 performance. We've had tons of updates, and I'll tell you a little bit about the data. Okay. 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 First, let's take a look at the XCSS titles. It's a lot of logos. Uh, all lot of over logos. the place. I mean, on the on the style of games, Avengers, Modern Warfare, some really big titles here. It's impressive. 35 plus titles, as you mentioned, more than doubling since launch. Yep. More coming in 2023. The, the DevRel team, the ISV groups, they, they deserve a ton of credit for getting Absolutely. This and the technology is easy to adopt. If you've done similar technologies, this is almost a turnkey upgrade. Very right? cool. And it's not the only thing that our DevRel team is doing for of us. They're course. also doing some bundles. Absolutely. Right? Uh, starting today, actually, along with uh, our updates, uh, you can get a Nightingale and the Settlers included with the purchase of an ARC graphics card, the A750, of course, but any ARC card. Oh my God. As well, right? That's great. Through the family, including notebooks as well. Well, I'm looking forward to two, a couple of great titles now included at Etail or Retail. You buy a brand new ARC card, yep. you're going to get a, a couple of new great titles. Exactly. So, as I talked about, DX11 performance is improving, right? Yes. Warframe is just one example. It's a huge title. Tell me a little bit about the performance improvement here. So, this, I mean, you see the visual here. This is going from 159 average. FPS to 250 FPS. Wow. Not, not, not a small performance improvement. No. Dramatic performance improvement. Yeah. And I, I love to see a chart like this, but what I actually improve, uh, appreciate more is real gameplay. All right, Ryan, this is Warframe. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about the game? Warframe is a free-to-play, third-person, role-playing kind of uh, title, uh -huh. Uh -huh. right? Uh, and we're doing the same kind of configuration we had before. On this side is the ARC A750 limited edition on the launch driver. This would be the experience you would have 
with that configuration. Okay, and on this side, this is our brand new driver, just came out, and we can see right away, you're at 165 frames per second, I'm at 270 already, so it's a massive performance Big, boost. big performance difference. We're running at 1080p and uh, DX11. Okay, and let's one. get into yeah. it. We're gonna go uh, smack this guy around a little bit. And uh, of course, the competition that has to exist between us. It's always there. We're uh, going to get Volt is... Spectre a smackdown. I'm, right. at, I'm at two, 265. Oh, yeah. Pretty big difference. Where is he? Where'd he go? Invisible. Where'd he go? Yeah, I hope he oh, helps there he is. Out. I got you. I got you. See, I keep going in this corner. Oh, like yeah. It. Oh, I think I already got him. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, wait. Yep. Get him. I think he's dead. Yeah. That was a one-hit wonder, man. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing for me. <laughs> All right, I'm at 240 fr frames per second. You're at 240. We're kind of in different spots. Yeah, if you look out the if you look, look out, out the that, that final windshield yeah, there. Yeah, I'm at 400 frames per yeah, second. You're at 300 difference. frames per second. So the point of this is not showing my gaming skills versus Ryan, <laughs> although that is an impressive side. <laughs> The performance of the new driver dramatically faster uh, than our prior driver, and it's just going to keep getting better. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Warframe. Pretty cool game, right? I lost I, again. I thought it was a great game. I lost again. I don't know what happened there. I just I didn't know. Yeah. But anyway, great. the performance is what matters. It's not about who's the better gamer. And in this case, <laughs> Warframe has improved by over 50%. Is yes. that right? Yes. Crazy, crazy. So if you take that all together, DX11 is getting better, DX12 is getting better, and now it's all available at a new low price, we said, at $249. $249 for the A750 limited edition card. Uh, you know, Starting today in key retailers, it'll be rolling out throughout the globe over the next week or so. Yep. Uh, Fantastic new price, coupled with all the you know software stuff that we've talked about. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, the way I think about it is the new price changes our position in the market. Mm -hmm. It changes mm -hmm. our perf per dollar. So let's take a look at it. That's right? a good idea. So here you go. I've got a big chart of lots of titles. <laughs> the line is the perf per dollar we delivered at launch. Mm. And now those blue bars are what's the perf per dollar we're delivering now. And you can see what's really new here is these big spikes for DX9. Yeah. We're, we're crushing DX9. DX9, it might have been a sore spot for some reviews, yeah. perhaps, yeah. right? Now we're, we're, we're saying, hey, look, look what I, the what, software I team is delivered. This is just one of those things I love about Intel. It's because when we have something like that happen, we can get on it, right? <laughs> so that's happened on DX9. But you can also see DX11 is improving, right? Yes, it's DX11 and DX12 all increasing and improving relative to our, our, our launch, launch position, right? Yeah. And now it's not just about us. I know it's not just about us. We got to consider where we are <laughs> relative to everybody else. So I did the same kind of data. This is taking NVIDIA's latest driver and uh, using the 3060 12 gigabytes, right. running all the same titles, same configurations, and the blue lines on top are how much better we are compared to that on a perf per dollar basis. It's, uh, there are a lot of bars above that A lot line. of bars above there, right? Almost all see, of those bars are above DX9, that line. The DX9, pretty good, right? The DX11, DX12 is yeah, great. Yeah, right? so it takes takes a story that maybe would have been one of our lows and yep. turns it into a high, it does. right? And says now, it's not, it's not a, you don't have to choose, right? No, you get you can, all of legacy this. Legacy APIs, yes. modern APIs, features, yes. performance, all at an incredible price. What's the summary? Right now, A750, based on the data today, is 52% better, better perf per dollar than an RTX 3060. The, the gaming value you get out of this product, out of Arc, is astounding. Right? It, it's, it's, it comes back to what we said a couple months ago, right? We're not playing around here, right? We're, we're, we're bringing everything we've got to bear. We're bringing a great new price, and we're improving performance constantly. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, if you summarize everything all together, we've improved DX9 performance by 43%. Amazing. We have a brand new price, $249, which means we're delivering 52% better value than our closest competitor. Now, I, I know we have that line of text on the top of the slide there, but I want to call it out, right? When we, when we talked in October, it was about bringing balance back. Yes. That, was, that, was your, that was your catchphrase yes, I of, like the, it. of the moment. It still, still applies, right? But this is about unleashing arc, yeah. unleashing the product. When we launched, we were very clear that this hardware has headroom left, right? Mm -hmm. We built a tremendous performance core that we hadn't been able to optimize all the software yet. Well, that's exactly what we've been doing over the last several months. Just three months later, yeah. we are unleashing the performance that is built into every arc GPU. Well, I'm excited about it. I, I think this is a fantastic story. Uh, um, you know, I know we're gonna have reviewers and tech community. They're all gonna take a look at this and see, does it is stack it true? Up? Is, is it true? Track up? I, I, I'm confident. Uh, and and I, I am too, right? And so th thanks for coming and hey, explaining it with always us. Great. Always and, uh, great. And thanks to the engineers for making it all happen, of course. And uh, we'll be back soon with, with yeah, more updates. Time.
Hey, Tap, uh, what shirt are you wearing for the shoot today? Oh. Mm. I'll go change. Okay.